Okay, let's just go ahead and get right to it. You're looking for the best ladder to do some work on the outside of your home or climb up on your roof. I'm going to give you three great options on how you can do that. Real quick before we get into the ladders, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about digital roofing innovation so you know who you're getting advice from. So my name is Zach Blinkensop. I'm a proud U.S. Navy veteran, served active duty eight and a half years, and now I'm a licensed general contractor in nine different states and I have my Florida roofing license. I've done roofing projects from Billy up the street all the way through the United States government. In digital roofing innovations, we're always going to try to give you the easiest way to get something done and the best information out there. All right, so let's go check out these ladders. Before I get started, I already know that what you're thinking. You're thinking, where is the step ladder? Well, one of these ladders can be used as a step ladder, but the reason I don't have that out here is I never want anyone to climb on your roof with a step ladder. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of reason why, but we do have another video coming out about ladder safety. I would definitely recommend you checking out. But for all intents and purposes, these ladders are mainly gonna be used to climb up on your roof and also do some exterior renovation around your house, but the main purpose will be to climb on your roof. Now, I've used all of these ladders before, so these ladders are a little bit old. They are they have been used, and so I feel I have a very good understanding of what they're really good for and what they're not good for. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the telescopic ladder or extending ladder. Now, you can see this one is actually stuck in a few places. We've uh, uh, we've been trying to get it back down, but uh, some of the levers are stuck just because it's been used a lot over time. So this this thing normally will actually get telescope down all the way down to about right here. Uh, when it's all said and done, it'll be about this tall. What's great about this ladder is you can take it anywhere. So if you're new to the roofing industry and you're a salesperson and you're using a car to sell in versus having a truck, uh, this is a great tool for you to use. Uh, it is a little heavy, uh, especially this one. This is a very heavy duty. Uh, ladder, it's uh, very tall. You can get up on two-story buildings with this if it's, if it's short enough or two-story houses. Not recommended, but you can use those uh, for that. But it's mainly going to be used for one-story houses is what I would recommend or one-story buildings. Uh, again, you can get up. I believe this is a, a 20-footer, so you can get up to some two-story buildings. You just got to make sure that you're getting that two feet above the rake or whatever the, the sort of the roof is to use this ladder. Again, over time, uh, I think this ladder is about five years old, so it's, it's very seasoned. Uh, we did get a lot of use out of it, but it's pretty expensive. You can spend anywhere from $150 to $300 for this type of ladder. Uh, but this is a great uh, ladder, especially if you're not gonna be doing a lot of heavy use with it, um, and you're just gonna be using it every now and then. This is a good ladder to use. Uh, but I would say this is definitely probably the first option. Uh, maybe you find this at a pawn shop, something like that. That's where I would get this ladder first. Uh, or if you're someone that has to sell out of a car, this is the ladder for you. Again, fully when it's fully down, it's gonna only gonna be about this tall. All right, so the next ladder is actually the ladder I recommend for, for most people. Now this ladder uh, is actually from Warner. Uh, there's a few other you know companies that sell a very similar ladder. I normally always go with the Warner. Uh, so I have the one that's this tall, this tall, and the full extension, I believe it goes 22 feet, 16 feet, and uh, maybe 12 feet for the really small one. And I have all three of them. So if I have a, a neighbor's you know, a neighbor's house I need to climb on and they have a very low pitch roof like me or, or, or the eaves are really low, um, I'll just grab my little little small one. And the great thing about these ladders is you can pick them up and you can carry them. Now I carry, if I'm a roofing salesman, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and get the big one. I believe it goes up to 22 feet. Uh, but you just throw it right over your shoulder. And if you're doing a, a bunch of sales and you're out in the field, you can just walk from house to house. Now this thing will get heavy over time, but it's a great ladder uh, for multiple reasons. And if you're a homeowner, this is the absolute best ladder you can use at your home. And the reason because is you could use it as a step ladder. Um, so it's got a function of it'll fold out.
And then you actually use this if you want to bring this up and use it as a step ladder. Um, what you can also use this for is the regular ladder. There we go. You can also use this ladder to get up on your roof. So you just knock these back in, come up, make sure your hand's not in the way, set it up on your roof. You have to make sure these are locked in. Whatever you do, you have to make sure those are locked in. If they're not, when you start climbing up here, you can get seriously injured, back it up, and then boom, you got a multi-purpose ladder here all in one. Now these are a little expensive. You are gonna spend definitely over $100 uh, to get a good quality one. You're probably gonna spend somewhere between 150 and 300, but this is a one ladder fits all. And like I said, I've climbed up on apartment complexes with these. I've climbed uh, all over, um, all of our neighborhoods with them. I've towed them everywhere. This ladder particularly has been with me a lot of places just because it's a little, it's the medium size. I believe this is the 16 footer, but it's a, just a great overall ladder to use just in general. And again, you want to make sure that you get the two foot extension above the break of your roof or you're climbing up by the gutters because that's going to add you a little bit more safety and you're not having to step up off and perhaps kick the ladder out from behind you. So the last flat ladder I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna give you a full view of this ladder. So this is a, what you would call a regular extension ladder. Now, I, the reason I don't have, uh, I, I don't have any of the really small extension ladders because I might as well just use one of these if I'm gonna do that. This is a heavy duty Warner extension ladder. Now this is what we actually use to climb up on apartment complexes uh, and large buildings, like some of our commercial buildings that we do. Uh, also with the government, this is what we use. As a homeowner, the only time you're gonna use a ladder like this is if you have a really tall roof. And again, if you're if you're a homeowner and you haven't climbed on a lot of roofs before, I recommend calling a professional versus you climbing up because one of the number one ways people die on construction sites is falls and mainly falls from roofs. So this is very, very important. Again, we are making a video on ladder safety, so I definitely recommend checking it out. But in terms of just ladders to use as either a homeowner or a roofing contractor, these are your options. So you have the telescopic ladder, the multi-function ladder, which is the one I recommend. And then you also have just your regular extension ladder. And you can pick up a really light aluminum extension ladder sometimes from, uh, you, you find them at pawn shops or maybe Craigslist or uh, on, on Facebook. You can find them for 20 bucks sometimes. And there's been you know times I've been in a pinch, needed a ladder and I, and I got one. But these are typically, uh, especially the heavy duty ones, they're very, they are expensive and they're only gonna be reserved for if you're going to a really high space. But if you are going somewhere really tall, this is the ladder to get. Okay, so that's it. I hope this was very helpful with you selecting your next ladder. Guys, if you enjoyed our content, please give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And remember here at Digital Roofing Innovations, we wanna make sure that we give you the best answer possible and the easiest way to do something. We believe in a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.